Hi, I'm Teresa Jorgensen, and today's Gulf Coast Hot Tip will demonstrate how to tell the difference between a gallbladder full of stones and the nearby GI structures, the rolling stone sign. One of the most common pitfalls new sonographers run into is confusing the gastric antrum and duodenal loop for the gallbladder. When this nearby gallbladder imposter has a mixture of air and fluid contents, it can really mimic a gallbladder full of stones. This is often really difficult to tell the difference in our suboptimal patients. So let's compare the two. The gallbladder is located within a fossa on the visceral surface of the liver. And when scanning, we should be able to visualize liver on both sides of that true gallbladder structure. The duodenal loop is located posterior to the liver and encircles the pancreatic head. This structure should be found medial to the liver. The gallbladder connects in line with the middle hepatic vein and main lobar fissure, and we can use these anatomic structures to track our way to the true gallbladder fossa. The duodenal loop, there's no sonographic connection to the middle hepatic vein. And when we're looking at these two sonographically, a normal gallbladder will be truly anechoic with a thin echogenic wall surrounding it. We'll be able to clearly demonstrate a true endpoint. Now, when we have an abnormal gallbladder, although it is true that we're able to visualize the distinct layers and often some subserosal edema, this will not look like the true gut signature, which is going to be five concentric sonographic layers. Looking at a portion of the stomach here, you can see that I have five distinct layers from innermost to outermost. The first, third, and fifth layer should appear echogenic, and the second and fourth are hypoechoic. Do not confuse shadowing from air, which will cast a dirty shadow, from a clean shadow, a direct shadow posterior from a true gallstone. Now, when you're really still confused, you can use changes in patient's positioning to demonstrate the rolling stone sign. Not those rolling stones. We're talking ultrasound here. Allow me to demonstrate. A common mistake that new sonographers make is documenting and labeling portions of the gastric antrum for the duodenal loop. This is especially confusing when there's air within that duodenum. So here's how to tell the difference. Begin with your patient in the left lateral decubitus position, right side up with your transducer at the mid-clavicular right costal margin. This is where the gallbladder is most likely going to be found. Carefully scan with your beam's energy up and under that right costal margin until you can visualize the gallbladder in its true fossa. In this position, the non-obstructed intraluminal stones will appear in the most gravity-dependent portion of the gallbladder, the gallbladder neck. Now, leaving the transducer in place, have the patient change their position to be left side up where you can clearly see the stones rolling, sliding to the now gravity-dependent fundus. The rolling stone sign. This rolling stone symbol can also be very helpful when evaluating other gallbladder pathology, such as sludge or polyps. I hope you've enjoyed today's Gulf Coast hot tip, the rolling stone sign. Now, let's rock. Not that rock, that rock. <laughs>